<laughs> oh, I forgot it's like 4 a.m. What's up, guys? That's kind of tight <clears throat> that I can do it in the morning. Early 4 in the morning, I actually got 130 people in here. That's kind of tight. Oh, man. How are you? I'm good. I actually had a really, really good day today. Really, really good day. I don't know what it is, but the last couple days, I just felt like just mad. Um, I don't know, just, just like... I wasn't I just I just wasn't really happy for whatever reason for like this sequence of days. And the whole time I was like I was like why cuz there's all this and I I figured I figured out what it was. But there was all this stuff that was happening around me that I was like yo why why are you upset right now? Like what what's making you so so angry right now. Like, I feel like I didn't have a right to be angry. You know what I mean? And, like, when you feel like that, my natural instinct is to, you know, feed that feeling. Because that seems like a justified feeling. You know what I mean? Crazy. I don't know if that's getting too much into it. But that's kind of just what I'm what I'm on right now. And I, I actually had no plan of doing um, the post that I did today. Um, until this morning, because I, hold on, I'm sorry, I'm distracting myself, I'm like on the computer, I'm like, um, anyways, I wasn't even planning on doing the post today, until like this morning, I just kind of, I just kind of felt like it, I think that, I think that that was making me fed up, I think I was, I was really, down on myself for not being creative and almost like mentally beat myself up over it. I'm like, cause I had the, I think it's because I had, I had this great rise in my creativity in this one week. And I was like, I was like, damn, like, like I'm like, I felt like I was on top of the world. And then when you, and then when you aren't on that, Momentum can feel like you took a step back or a step down. Um, crazy. Yeah, so I wasn't realizing that. And that's why I need to just... Uh, can be so hard on myself, man. I have to go through stuff. I have to, like... I have to I have to go through shit and I have to you you can't experience you can't know what happiness is without being sad every once in a while you know what I mean so maybe that was just like a period in my life where I just had to sink for a second and look at all my deepest darkest fears and be like oh shit like I'm scared but then for it to actually turn into a strength when I am able to feel comfortable around those fears and I actually accept that they're there I'm like all right you know what I see it. Now I'm good. And I've... That's that's a different way to look at it. What are you looking at? I'm looking at... I'm looking at the computer right now. Yeah. Bro, I, I never, like... I never read these... I actually feel bad because I probably should. I want to. I want to know, like, legitly. That's not a fun word to say. If that's even a word, I don't like that word. Legitly. Ugh. Ugh. Disgusting. Um. Don't cut your hair. I. I know. I right now. I kind of know what I'm doing because I realized that my shit just like if I rock it natural, is like. I like like I like the way it grows out naturally. I think that's what I'm going for. It's just like the most natural haircut possible, one that I don't need to 
you know, put product in or do all the time. I just want it to kind of be free. I think that's, <laughs> that's like the theme of my life now. It's like be free. How predictable. So what are y'all into? You should cut your hair shorter. Um, I think I'm gonna make the top like a little bit shorter. Like definitely not just just to make it more proportionate to these because I feel like it's long right now. And I don't know if I like that to be honest. I feel I feel kinda goofy. It's okay though. Like, I don't know, man. My hair has always been, like, one of my biggest insecurities for whatever reason. I think that's why it's, like, I don't know, man. I was never, like, just super confident with it. Like, ever, really. I kind of, like, I think, I think I, like, just took on the boy band, stereotypical boy band role. That shit was whack. I was not, I was not dressed, I'm not, I don't like the, I don't like looking at that person almost. Like, I feel like I've grown so much. Oh, like, like, yo, look at me, look at me in this picture. Bro. <laughs> nah. Okay, legendary. Legendary, first of all. I'm, this is, this is like. This is a, oh my goodness, like, such a pivotal moment in my life. Like, incredible. I was, I can't believe that happened. And they didn't even play it on TV, but I still got the picture. Man. I could low-key just take y'all through this. I don't know. Let's see if you're interested. So this was actually the first... First performance I ever did in my life. That's crazy. Well, first on stage performance. I performed in front of big crowds. But it was all like ciphers. And this was a school talent show, it was called Sankofa. It wasn't really a san it wasn't really a talent show more so it was a showcase of people celebrating um culture and stuff so that's what that was and they wanted me to rap and i was really happy to be on it um this this dude right here man like dead ass like i have to i have to thank him for a lot he um he saw me on a twitter video right and he's like verified and everything and i'm looking at i'm looking at this dm because I had this video that got some traction locally, and he he DM'd me. He was like, "Hey man, like come over to Legit Paper Entertainment." That was his label name. Um, this is Ray, and I'm like, I'm like, all right, like what's this guy about? I'm like, can we like talk or something? Like you know, I mean, you know. He's like, I'm a fan, bro. Blah blah blah. I still have the DM. And to me, like, you got to understand, like, when I was, I think I was 16 when this was happening, like, this was, like, I actually got somebody's attention because I was never, like, I only had shit on SoundCloud. And it's, like, that can only reach so far um, for a kid, for a young, for a young kid at that time, or at least for me. Um, but when I put out videos, it's, like... People liked it more. So anyways, he put a lot of money. I want a decent amount of money. To me at the time, it was a lot of money. Something I couldn't pay for. Uh, he paid for some studio time. All my studio time and music videos. He shot the first one with me. Man. Um, yeah, so Ray. Very important, very pivotal. Uh, this, was a, this was a photo shoot I did. In... Uh, Downtown Cleveland, this guy Stretch, he's fire. Oh man, this shit is crazy. So this performance is me opening up for Lil Uzi Vert. 
crazy moment. I was a junior in high school. Bro, now that I think about it, that's crazy. That's crazy, man. I, I really like... That's that's pretty cool. That's really cool, man. And that you know what that that was because of Ray. That was because of Ray, man. Cuz Ray had a set on Lil Uzi Vert's show. And this is when Uzi had versus the world out. And it was like pop like you was right, money longer had reached its height. You know like Crazy times. Anyways, this show was in front of 3,000 people. My first big show ever. And I did a song. And I, was, I wasn't really feeling it. And then I went acapella. And I started getting cheers. That was a really good fucking feeling. That was, that was an amazing feeling. This is a cover I did of a uh, race song, Nosebleeds. This one, man. Oh, my gosh. This one's insane. Cause you got three, three of the five right here. Now I remember all these guys and I. We met. So we just went in one of these guys' cars. They were like, "Yo, you want to go to In and Out?" And I'm like, "Hell yeah!" Like this is my first time in Los Angeles. Um, this is a. Uh... Wait, what was I saying? I said. Yeah, we, we basically got in the car, went to In-N-Out, and Drew was there. I remember Drew was playing beats, and I was rapping to the, the beats. That's so crazy. That was like... Man, that was one of the craziest, craziest times of my life. I thought... Like, everything was so crazy and, like... Like, being in California was a big trip to me. Anyways, I'm dwelling too much on that. Uh, oh, I think a Devin took this picture, actually. Shout out to Devin. Oh, uh, this fire. I, that got 150,000 views. That's pretty cool. Oh, man, crazy. This is our first show as a band. Free show at City Walk. Look at all those people. That's fucking awesome. I was I was pretty happy about that. I was, I was stoked. Oh, uh, you got, like, this is crazy, man. I was like, I was like, what the fuck is going on? Like, look at me. I'm like, just like, okay, I'm here. Sergio's loving it. Chance is like, yeah, 